welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we are going to be making a Miraculous Ladybug custom. But this is not going to be my typical custom. Usually my customs are for Marinette wearing a different costume from another character from the Miraculous Ladybug show. However today we're going to have Marinette cosplay and she's going to cosplay as Joy from the new movie Inside Out 2. I recently watched the movie and it was so good and I thought Marinette would look super cute wearing Joy's outfit. So today I have Marinette wearing her Vesperia outfit and we are going to transform her into Joy. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start by doing her hair. I thought Joy would be a good start for my first cosplay custom. She has blue hair and so does Marinette. So as you can see here, Marinette has her hair hairsprayed down really well. I'm going to go ahead and rinse all this off and see what we can do to style her hair like Joy's. Alright, so here is Marinette with her hair washed. If you ever wanted to know what it looks like, now you know. It's a bit wild. Look at this. So Joy does have a little bit of hair coming down the front, so we are going to keep this section. And then the rest, I think I'm going to need to cut it a little bit just because we don't need it to be this long. And I'm a little bit nervous because I am in no way a hairdresser. Let's keep this section here and maybe just give it a trim. Okay, here it goes. I hope I'm not messing up. I think my problem is my scissors are not very sharp. Okay, you trimmed your bangs a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take this back section here and we're going to cut it short. Okay, now we're going to cut the rest of this short too. Oh my goodness, she looks kind of cute with this short hair. I'm really nervous about cutting it too short because doll hair, unlike human hair, does not grow back. going very slow because I've never done this before. I've never actually tried to change the hairstyle for Marinette and so I'm just going to cut a little bit of time. I think a tiny bit more because I'm going to glue the rest down. Okay, so I think we got it pretty short. Once we glue it down, it's going to look like this. And we need that very special tuft of hair up here that sticks out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just take a tiny portion here and, and just cut it. She still looks so cute. Alright, and now we're going to use some tacky glue. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use tacky glue with dolls, but um, that's what we're going to use. And I think if we mess up, we can just wash it off. So that's a good thing about using glue. So I'm going to start with some glue along the nape of her neck here. Because we do want the hair to be down here. And then I'm going to start pulling the hair downwards. And we're going to add more glue as we go. I know this looks pretty terrible, but trust in the process. It's a good thing I don't style real hair. Okay, now I have my gloves on and we're going to take this hair and really mold it. I'm gonna take this piece up here. All right, everyone, so here's Marinette with her new pixie cut. What do you think? Isn't she cute? Oh my goodness, she looks so, so cute. So the hair is glued back here, so this is not something we want to touch a lot. And I did leave a little bit of a short uh, segment here that kind of sticks out a little bit, but not too much. I don't want it to look like it's a mistake. 
So it's just here and then she has some bangs up here. And I think she looks really cute. So the next thing we want to do is take off some of this paint. So I'm not really sure if the base of the doll is yellow or if it is black. So I'm going to take some acetone here and test it out. Okay, let's wipe down here. Oh, the black is coming out. So the base is yellow. That's a good thing because we want her legs and arms to be yellow. Let's go ahead and wipe away all this black. And it does come off pretty easily. Okay, so the legs are done. And oh, this is kind of interesting. So the arm is actually painted with yellow. The base is actually black. So we're going to have to paint this portion. Paint at this point. Let's just take off this just in case. So that it's nice and even when we paint it. And I can tell that the base of the body is also black. Alright, so at this time, let's go ahead and take our oil-based paint markers and paint the arms, the torso, yellow. Oh no, it's not going to show because it's going to be too dark. Change of plans. We're going to paint the arms and torso white first. Alright, and here is our doll so far. We colored her arms white and also her neck and her shoulders. But this portion is going to be covered by her dress, so I'm not going to paint it. Now I'm going to paint her arms and neck yellow. And this time, I'm actually going to be using an acrylic paint marker. So the white that I used is oil-based. And if I had used an oil-based yellow, it would dissolve the white and mix in with it. And so what I'm going to get is kind of a very light yellow. But I want this yellow to sit on top of the paint. So I'm going to use acrylic, which is water-based. And this way, it won't dissolve the white and mix with it. The acrylic will sit on top of the oil. So here it is. You can see this nice bright yellow going very nicely over the white without mixing into the white portion. You can use acrylic paint for this, but I do like using the markers because they're so easy to paint with. I use a paintbrush for hard to reach areas. Next, let's go ahead and make Joy's dress. I'm going to be using some color of unbaked clay. I'm going to go ahead and warm it up a little bit. And then I'm going to roll it out. I want this to be very thin. Here's our clay all flattened out. And I'm going to cut this out. Let's wrap it on her body. And then smooth out the seams. Once the seam is smoothed down, it should look like this. Let's also shape the dress a little bit. And give it some movement. Now for the top portion of her dress. So here is the front. It's looking really good. With that exacto knife, we're going to trim off the excess. Alright, and here we have it. Here is Joy's dress. Now for the tricky part. We need to cure this without melting the doll. So if you've been to my channel before and seen my other customs, you'll know that I like to use my heat gun to cure oven bake clay. When you're careful, it does work pretty well. So let's go ahead and give this a try. All 
All right, and here is our doll so far. So the dress is still a little bit warm right now, but as you can see, it's pretty solid. And so it's mostly cured. Now the last part of our doll is to add the little blue star bursts. All right, everyone, and we are done. Take a look. Here is Marinette cosplaying as Joy from Inside Out. What do you guys think? Isn't she adorable? So let's take a closer look at her face. Her face is unchanged. I did not paint her yellow because I thought that would look really funny. So I kept her face the same. However, we did give her quite a haircut. So here we trimmed some of her bangs. We gave her a little um, short piece of hair up here and we also chopped off most of her hair and gave her a pixie cut. Isn't that cute? So we did have to glue it down because it was sticking out, but after gluing it down, it looks really good. So it almost looks like it's a decent haircut instead of a chopped haircut that got glued down. Her body is painted yellow, so her neck, her arms, and her feet and she is wearing a clay dress. This is kind of a lime green color with some blue star bursts in it and it does go below her knee. And I think it turned out really, really cute. So she is quite heavy right now because the clay is actually really heavy. I think next time if I were to do another cosplay doll with clothing, I would either use um, I would use air dry clay or lightweight clay. That way she's not going to be this heavy. But overall, I'm actually really pleased with the way this doll came out. She is so, so cute. So what do you think? Do you think I should do another cosplay doll? How about another one from Inside Out? Let me know down below in the comment section which doll you want to see next. And I'll see you next time. Bye!